Show. When I think of Morrowind, I think of volcanoes. I think of boats <laughs> and danger around every corner. I think of Vivek and Vivek City. I think of the Dark Elves and Vardvox and all kinds of weird and wonderful and terrifying beasties. I think of that first experience of, of landing in, in Sedanine and everyone's a jerk to you. Why is everyone so mean in this place? Sorry, stranger, my time is short, so get on with it. It's not, you know, halflings and, and fairies when you step into Morrowind for the first time. It starts off with you in captivity, and it's talking about you were just taken out of the prisons. Well, why is that? And Morrowind never tells you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. The game having the trust in the player to give them agency to say, all right, here's your name, here's your papers, you're your free person now, and then here's the world. After you get through Sedanine -E and you start to you start to get out and explore the, the island itself, I always liken it to a Willy Wonka moment. It's the it's the moment where the kids go into the chocolate room for the first time, and it's just creativity and imagination on display in all directions. And that's really what it felt like playing that game the first time. Morrowind has a very specific aesthetic to it. And it was, I think, maybe the first thing that hit me when I jumped into the game is just how real it was. You see just all this ash kind of falling all over the zone, and it gives it just a really different vibe. Then you get um, parts like Sage with Mora where there's giant mushroom towers everywhere. Um, it's very bizarre, weird, and wonderful, and it's quite unique. There are giant bug monsters that you can ride to and from rather than simply a horse. There was no RPG I ever played, or game for that matter, that looked like Morrowind when it came out. Prior to that, I had not played a game that allowed me to do the things you could do in Morrowind making your own player character. I, I played primarily console games. Those were not really options at that point in time. One of the things that really hit me with Morrowind is when you get in there and you have a great time, right? You're really enjoying yourself, like you're living a different life. And it takes away all the like cares and worries and everything. And I wanted to be able to do that for other people. Like I want to be part of creating these worlds that people can immerse themselves into. It really helped me to understand that, yes, if I wanted to create living, breathing, three-dimensional characters in a virtual space, like, that was a, there were people out there that did that as a job. That's a, that's a real thing that people do. Thinking back to when we first announced that we were gonna be doing Morrowind in 2017, we know the community was super stoked because this was sort of the first time that they were going back to Morrowind and getting into a place that they were familiar with, but they hadn't seen in a really long time. With Necrom, we get to dive back into Morrowind. I, I know that the community is really excited to explore the Dark Elves, Dark Elf cultures in, in new and interesting ways. Every expansion gives us a new opportunity to, to uncover new lore or new secrets. Necrom is a city of the dead. That's an incredible opportunity, and I'm really excited to see what people think of what we've done.